Um, Maggie, talk about specifically what's happening with respect to the drag um, concept yeah. for putting product in and pulling product out with both the reach and the VNA truck with, with respect to this and the sensors. Yeah, exactly. Um, of course. <laughs> so with all of our trucks that we have operating and racking, we have a couple of features. Um, one is that we call anti-push and anti-drag. Um, so that's something that we do for safety of people who might be in the aisles, safety for the trucks, safety of your product. Um, and that's checking with the sensor kind of below and around the forks that when we are entering or exiting a pallet, that that pallet is either not moving away from us. So say if the forks were to make contact with a bad board in the pallet and it started to push backward, uh, we would be able to detect that the pallet is now moving instead of staying in position as we move the forks in. Um, and we also have what's called anti-drag. So as we are pulling a pallet out, we are checking that it's not dragging um, or pulling out of a pallet. I'm sorry, uh, that we're checking it's not dragging with our forks. So if we are exiting a pallet, we expect it to stay in place and not be moving in the same direction as the truck. And if we detect that movement, then we can come to a stop um, and either have a manual driver intervene um, or have some sort of error behavior there. So there's another thing here that we want to talk about too. And, and at, at, at prior companies, we had uh, we had talked about our ability to uh, see, and I think we just saw it right here. So let's talk yeah. about this, um, where the pallet is and be able to move to the appropriate location to pick it, as well as what we just saw there, the vehicle um, or the mast moved left or right to be able to position that pallet very um, precisely up against the, the rack, rack upright so that we can get mm -hmm. as much uh, utilization of the beam space uh, as possible. 